My name is Ginger Delgado, G-I-N-G-E-R-D-E-L-G-A-D-O, and I'm the PIO for the Arapahoe County Sheriff's Office. Kind of walk us through the scene of uh, what happened, what time this all unfolded. Uh, sure. Walk us through what's happening right now. We had a fatal shooting that occurred on the 5200 block of South Geneva Way. The call came in around 8 o'clock this morning that shots were fired at this home. Our deputies arrived on scene and they found a 43-year-old deceased female dead of a gunshot wound. Her body is currently in front of the garage. A 45-year-old male suspect fled the scene and he was apprehended at Orchard and Havana. He was injured in the process and he was transferred to Sky Ridge Hospital for treatment. So he's undergoing treatment right now. He is in police custody. We're still trying to figure out the relationship between the two. Um, I can tell you that there is no threat to public safety right now. This is an isolated domestic violence incident. There were a lot of witnesses that saw what happened, and our deputies are in the process of interviewing all the witnesses who are here. And I can tell you that uh, there have been no previous calls to this home. The woman, the deceased woman, had just moved in here a few months ago. And right now we're just working on trying to figure out what the charges are. Right now we have our deputies, our investigators, and CSI, our crime scene investigators on scene. They're processing the evidence. They're trying to figure out exactly what happened. They are gonna be out here for a couple hours trying to process all the evidence in this scene. So that's about all I have right now. If there's any other questions, I'm happy to answer them. Did this shooting take place outside or inside the home? Um, we don't, I don't have that information yet. But we do know that the victim, the female victim is outside. Yeah, she's in front of the garage. What were mm -hmm. the injuries to the suspect during the arrest? Um, I, I don't want to comment on what his injuries were right now, but he was injured during the scuffle. And so when deputies arrested him, they transported him to the hospital. Yeah. Of the several yeah. witnesses, were they like family members or were they neighbors? They were neighbors. They were all neighbors. Yeah. They had heard some arguments outside the house and they called police and they actually witnessed this crime take place. Anything else? It's a quiet neighborhood. Any comment? It is a beautiful neighborhood. It really is. So um, you wouldn't think that it, you know, would happen in a place like this, but crimes happen everywhere. Um, but it is a really beautiful, quiet neighborhood. And I think a lot of the neighbors are really shocked to see the police cars in this neighborhood and to find out what happened. Yeah. This kind of speaks to how domestic violence could really happen anywhere. It ab absolutely it could. Yeah, it happens. I mean, it knows no bounds. So, you know, we don't, like I said, we don't know the exact relationship between the male and the female. We're working on that and we'll release it as that becomes available. But it definitely was domestic. And um, yeah, it's just, I think it's just a shock really to everybody in this neighborhood and even to our deputies. So. Um, hopefully we'll have some more information about what happened a little later. When the suspect took off, uh -huh. did the suspect drive away or run? He drove away, yeah. And did, I know you said she's only been here a few months, mm -hmm. but have neighbors said there was, you heard, they said they heard arguing today, have there been other disturbances that they were aware of? I know you said they hadn't been called, but maybe the police hadn't been called. Are they aware of any other? You know, I think that's something that our investigators are trying to figure out. They're actually talking to the neighbors right now. We are probably going to be taking some of the witnesses to our headquarters to do a more in-depth um, interview with them to really find out what happened. So that's all we know right now is that a lot of witnesses saw what happened and we're just trying to piece it together. Can't say did he crash his vehicle at Orchard in uh, Havana? I don't know. Okay. I'm not aware of how the apprehension took place. Yeah. Anything else? No. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hopefully, we'll have some updates later. I'll let you know. Okay. Thank you all.